guys? Today I have a great tool for Christians to grow in Christ. It's going to be a tool that will help us get pure, stay pure before the Lord so that we can grow in our relationship with Him and please Him with our lifestyle. Coming up. So what I want to talk to you guys about is this app called VidAngel. Now, VidAngel, um, it's an app that uh, just put out a series called The Chosen. It's an amazing series about the life of Jesus, his walk, his ministry, his relationship with his disciples, and all the amazing things he did. I just did a video about that, so go ahead and click on that on that link. You can watch that. It's amazing. It's about the Samaritan woman at the well. But VidAngel is also an app that it actually connects to your streaming services. So if you have uh, a Netflix account, if you have an Amazon Prime account, uh, HBO, Showtime, Time Star, CBS, and, uh, and different streaming services. If you pay for a, for a monthly subscription with them, you can actually connect your VidAngel to these streaming services, and you can watch whatever's available um, on on the VidAngel app from these streaming services, um, such as uh, you know movies, TV shows, documentaries. Um, you know they have they have a lot of stuff. They have so much stuff on there. But this is this is the point of it, guys. That you guys can actually choose the things that you want VidAngel to uh, take out of um, that movie or out of that series, so that when you're watching it, you can choose um, you can choose all nudity to be removed, um, uh, certain words, all profanity, blasphemy, uh, sexual activity, sexual acts, sexual gestures, things like that. Uh, immodesty, um, violence, blood, things like that, death, things like that, so that so that we can actually make sure that we're not seeing things that we don't want to see. You know, we, we want to protect our eyes, we want to protect our ears. Why? Because our goal is to protect our minds because our uh, duty is to renew our minds with the knowledge of God, right? Romans 12 says that transformation comes by the renewing of the mind. Uh, amen. And uh, so it's very important that we use all the things available to us so that we can, uh, you know, steward, the, uh, you know, our purity and our relationship with God. So I love it. Me and my wife have been using it um, a lot lately. Um, they haven't charged us yet. I think, you know, somebody paid for us. They, they paid it. Uh, paid it forward or something like that. So I don't know if it's for a month's worth of time or for a year or forever. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I think um, that um, it is about $8 a month. And all it is, 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 is you sign up with VidAngel, you connect them to your Netflix account or Amazon Prime account um, or whatever you have. And now you're able to watch um, all these movies and series and, and documentaries without having to hear the cuss words, the new, see the nudity, see the sexual scenes. Um, and, you know, that's for your own walk with God. Now, it's also a great thing if you have kids, you don't you want to watch movies with your kids, but you want to make sure they don't see something um, they're not supposed to. And you're tired of watching, you know, Veggie Tales and all these cartoon movies, Ice Age and all that. Right. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great tool for that. A lot of I know a lot of people who are not even believers. They like VidAngel because they like to be uh, able to watch movies with their parents and not feel awkward with the sex scenes and stuff like that. Um, but for us, it's about a purity thing. It's a, it's a righteousness thing. Right. So it's an amazing tool, guys. So whenever I watch something, I, I just remove the, the nudity, the sex scenes, the cuss words. Um, and you can actually set up a default um, setting, default setting so that you don't have to do it every time. It could just be set as default and you just watch whatever you want to watch and it'll immediately um, skip to the next scene. Right. So if it's a sexual scene, you know, when they're, they're about to get into it, you don't see it. It cuts off and then it cuts back on. You know, uh, for while they're while they're uh, waking up in bed the next morning, or once they're dressed, or whatever, right? So you, you don't even see anything. You know, you're not tempted. You don't see any type of, you know, visual of, of what's going on. Same and with the cuss words, it's not gonna skip the scene. Of course, it's gonna, you know, not not you're just not gonna hear whatever cuss word the person said. And another cool thing about this is that you can also take off the cuss words from the captions. So if it's a movie that um, has captions in English because they're speaking in Spanish or some other language, the captions that have the cuss words will also be removed from that scene. So it's 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 very very good, it's very helpful. First John 3:3 3, 3 says everyone who has this hope in him 
purifies himself just as he is pure. So we have a duty to purify ourselves. We have a duty to make sure that we are steward in our relationship with God. The Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we have to make sure that we're not making excuses for ourselves. Oh, you know, I, I didn't know this movie had that or, or oh, it was, I only looked for a second. But if, if, if you want to be real, because I'm a real guy. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't sugarcoat. I don't beat around the bush. I don't like to, to, to lie. I don't like to be fake. I don't like to not be transparent. I think people's relationships with God. I think people's eternal destination. I think people's people being judged by the Lord Jesus one day is very important. We shouldn't play with it. So that's why I'm bringing you this video. Instead of a teaching, I want to recommend this app, Vid Angel, to you because listen, guys. Even if we're watching a movie, you know, it's been a lot of times when me and my wife are watching a movie and a sex scene or a nudity scene comes on and I hurry up and look away um, or, or I'll be looking down and I look up and she's like, don't look. Right. But for a split second, I'll see something. And this is what happens. You can see something for one second, half a second. It's still in your mind. The memory's still there. So guess what could happen? A temptation could happen. Right. So now you got to overcome another temptation. Now you got to renew your mind. Now you got to make sure you forget about that image and think on the things that you're supposed to. Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Amen. So there's a lot of stuff we're not supposed to be thinking about. There's a lot of stuff we're not supposed to be seeing and listening to because it goes into our minds, right? And the things that you end up doing, the things that you end up saying, they start in your mind, guys. So we got to be very good stewards of our minds. That's why it says renew your mind. That's why it says the new man is renewed in knowledge, in the knowledge of God, right? That's why we're supposed to read our Bible so that we can get the truth into our minds and remember it and apply it and speak it and live it. Amen. So this app is very important for Christians who really want to grow with God, who don't want to have excuses, who don't want to live like hypocrites, who really want to be pure, who really want to be doers of the word and not just talkers, not just readers, not just hearers, not just preachers, YouTubers and Instagrammers, but really doers of the word of God as Christ has called us and commanded us to. Because at the end of the day, God sees our actions. God knows our thoughts. He knows what we're imagining and fantasizing about. He knows the the choices we make, whether we make choices with purity in mind or with rebellion and carnality in mind. And he's going to judge us according to our works, not according to our confessions, according to our works. So it's very important we take our purity and our walk with God seriously because we belong to him now. We are to walk according to the spirit and not to the flesh. So why is it okay for us to think about fleshly things? And the more we watch them, the more we hear them, the more we will think about them. So it just completely contradicts what the scripture teach us. Amen. So I'm going to show you a quick clip of how this VidAngel app works connected to, you, to your uh, streaming service. It's so powerful. Me and my wife, my wife and I love this. We watch this all the time. We watch series. We watch movies that we wouldn't be able to watch before um, because of all the, the, the cuss words of all the nudity and stuff like that. And, you know, again, you can choose the violence to get taken off, nudity to get taken off, blasphemy, cuss words gestures and stuff like that so i definitely recommend this get this as soon as you can so here's the vid angel app so once you download the app you set up your account you connect your streaming services i know we have netflix and amazon prime connected right but there's also hbo showtime stars things like that um let's say we want to watch the wrong missy whatever this is um it's got 526 filters, right? That's a lot of filters. But if we want to click on it to make sure we have everything selected that we don't want to see or the stuff we do want to see unselected. So these are all the things, right? Here's here's the, the gist of it. You can filter stuff that's about language, right? Cuss words, 
um, sexual stuff, vulgar jokes, um, sexual um, scenes, nudity, modesty, violent scenes, drug and alcohol scenes. So it's, it's pretty good. Like we can all use this. You know, there's people who still struggle with alcohol and, and, and drug use uh, from their past. So they don't want to get tempted. They don't want to see somebody get drunk or high uh, and remember the feeling and remember the, the, the memories of it uh, so that they don't get tempted to go use again. So you can definitely turn that stuff off, right? Um, the violent stuff, there's some people who, who shouldn't see violent stuff, uh, or if you want to watch a movie with your kids, you don't want them to see blood and people dying and all that. This is all the, the sexual nudity, modesty, kissing, you can blurt off. Or if you want to leave kissing, you can leave kissing. If you want to leave uh, immodesty or, or whatever, you know, you don't have to cancel all of it. You could just take off some of it or all of it, you know, uh, the language stuff, profanity, blasphemy, childish language. Uh, even the captions you can even take off the captions that have cuss words like it's really helpful like if you really want to be pure and, and grow in your relationship with the lord i definitely recommend this you know even the credits we don't we don't really care who made the movie who's acting on the movie who did the music who did the lights <laughs> right so we kind of skip those intros and outros by selecting no credits right um so hey definitely recommend this check it out guys Guys, so this is what's so important about this. I have so many people that I've talked to that tell me they have problems with lust and with pornography, right? And then you ask them, you know, have you been reading your Bible? Have you been spending time with the Lord? And they're like, man, I, I don't even feel like it. I'm just so fleshy. I, I'm just, I just feel so weighed down. I feel so convicted by my sins. I don't even want to read. I can't even focus when I read. And then you ask them, what did you do this weekend? Or what did you watch? Right? And their answers are always the same. All these movies full of full of sex scenes, all these movies full of nudity, all these all these um, you know, basketball games, football games with all these cheerleaders. Um, you know, they're hanging out in places uh, in, where, where, where people, you know, women are wearing short shorts and, you know, showing a lot of cleavers and they're just doing a lot of things that come against, that come against their minds and, and their need to think on pure things. So it's like a lot of people, a lot of Christian men, especially, they wonder why they can't be free from lust and pornography. It's like, like, dude, like, look at what you're doing. Look at what you're what you're doing in your free time look at all these places you're going to with your wife or your girlfriend or your christian buddies like look at the movies you keep watching there's no wonder no question why you're always tempted while you're always fantasizing in your mind about women because you actually are not helping yourself you're actually hurting yourself by all the stuff that you watch and you listen to why are you listening to all these r&b or, or all these hip-hop songs that are talking about women's booties and and their body parts and their and, and, and all this lustful stuff you think that's helping you but you think your problem is that you get bored when you read the bible your problem is the pastor is low no you have to purify yourself if you really want to be pure you will have no excuse you will watch what you watch you will stop listening to certain things you will protect your relationship with god if you really care so here's a tool and it's up to you to use it if you care about your walk with christ enough okay if you guys think this video is helpful, please like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to get this app. Let me know if you got it already. What do you think about it? Let me know if you try it. I know there's definitely a free trial. Check it out. It couldn't hurt. It could only help you grow in Christ. Amen. Share this video if, this, if you think that a lot of people need to hear this. And uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel because we're going to be putting out a lot of content that will help you grow in Christ. So let's grow.